Uh, ladies and gentlemen, members of the press, uh, we are pleased to be back in Kenya following a successful and fruitful visit to China. During our time in China, the UDA delegation engaged in meaningful discussions with our counterparts in the, communi uh, uh, in the Com Communist Party of China. We explored areas of mutual interest, including economic collaboration, infrastructure development, and capacity building. The insights and experiences we garnered will undoubtedly strengthen our bilateral ties and continue to contribute to the strong ties between Kenya and uh, China. However, upon my return to Kenya, I have been deeply concerned by reports of indiscipline uh, among some of our elected members within our party. It has come to my attention that certain individuals have shown blatant disrespect to the party leadership, including the presidency. This behavior is unacceptable and will not be tolerated within the UDA party. We want to now bring order in the UDA party. I am specifically addressing the actions of the following members of the UDA party. One, Gidunguri member of parliament, Honorable Gadoni Wamushomba. Two, Nyeri governor, Honorable uh, uh, Mutai uh, Kihi, Kahiga. Three, Capsaret member of parliament, Honorable Oscar Sudi, and a host of MCAs who will be calling them for disciplinary measures at the party. Your recent conduct has not only undermined the party's unity, but also disrespected the leadership that you pledged to serve. Let this be a stern warning. Desist from such actions immediately. And we are saying that should this behavior continue, the party will take disciplinary action against the above mentioned members. Additionally, it has also come to my attention that some cabinet secretaries have been involved, uh, or rather they are involving themselves in political activities. Contrary to the law, which requires them to remain apolitical, Honorable Moses Courier, the cabinet secretary for public service, gender, and affirm affirmative action, your primary responsibility is to serve the people within your docket. Should you wish to engage in politics, you are welcome to resign and join the political arena. Similarly, Honorable Kipchumba Murkomen, Cabinet Secretary for Roads and Transport, your focus should be on addressing the pressing issues in your ministry, particularly the repair of roads damaged by the recent floods. Serve the people or step down from your position and return to politics. So we want to ask the cabinet secretaries who involve themselves in political activities over the weekend that the UDA party will not tolerate such character in our administration. Our president is keen to implement his manifesto. We are lagging behind because of uh, uh, civil servants and public officers who have derailed the vision of our administration and engaged in politics. Uh, the importance of party discipline and respect for party hierarchy is mandatory. Any form of indiscipline will not be tolerated within the ranks of UDA party. We must uphold values and principles that guide our party to ensure we deliver on our promises. Lastly, we have certain groups within the UDA party that are fueling the disunity in the UDA party. And I want to call upon the communications uh, teams within the office of the president and the office of the deputy president. Kindly stop fueling disunity in the UDA party. We want to call upon both communication teams to work in unity and stop antagonizing each other. 
Lastly, we want to join our president in saying that the UDA party was elected on a platform of the Hustler Nation. While I was away, I was told that one governor stepped outside the law and banned Mogoka in Mombasa. On behalf of the hustlers and the Mogoka traders and uh, the consumers of Mogoka, we want to ask that governor to operate within the constraints of the law. Mogoka and Mira are synonymous in contents, and they have been approved. We even export them outside this country. And therefore, we are saying that the traders that are involved in Mogoka business should also operate within the confines of our law. Make sure that you have warning signs, just like a cigarette. When you smoke a cigarette, we know that it has harmful effects to your health. But there is a warning there. Cigarettes, alcohol are goods that are not supposed to be sold to people under the age of 18. Similarly, the traders of Mogoka should also observe the measures that have been put in place by other goods to ensure that they put warnings to where they are selling their goods and also to desist from selling the, 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 the goods to uh, 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 citizens under the age of 18. Otherwise, as a UDA party, we are um, proceeding with our grassroots elections. We are now going to the constituency level. And I want to urge the UDA party membership to continue building a strong party. We are just from benchmarking with the CPC party in China. And we've seen the importance of having a strong political party that will help our president deliver his mandate. Thank you very much.